France 24, Sir Hervé Amorique. Hervé, can you explain why it is that uh, Peter Robinson has returned so soon? He could have had more time off. Indeed, but uh, Iris Robinson, his wife, was an elected member of parliament from the same party as her husband, Peter. She resigned from public life after the financial scandal was made public. She's off. Uh, but Peter uh, Robinson had stepped down provisionally to clear his name following the allegations that he had breached the codes of conduct of his office by not reporting his wife financial dealings. Uh, while a legal investigation took place, it lasted three weeks, and Peter Robinson was clear, so he's back. But some politicians here are saying, well, this is remarkably and conveniently fast, but no one really will query this issue very far because all the eyes here are turned on Peter Robinson's day job. He's driving the peace talks for the Democratic Unionists. That's the main Protestant party in Ireland. Uh, he's negotiating with Sinn Féin on the cafe side, as you've said, for the devolution of police and justice powers to, to Northern Ireland. And this is probably the last stage of a 15 years peace process. So, Elve, does this mean, uh, does this return mean that a deal with Sinn Féin is, is close now? Well, after nine days and nights of talks, this is, this is the longest talks in the history of the peace process, there is still no white smoke coming out of Hillsborough Capital. Uh, no doubt that uh, the scandal weakened Peter Robinson's position within his party. Some say he's lost focus because of his wife's uh, problems. Uh, it made it more difficult for him to sell the draft agreement he had negotiated a couple of days ago with the leaders of Sinn Féin on the Catholic side. 40% uh, of his elected party rejected the draft deal uh, when the deal, well, the draft deal was put to them. Uh, it was too much of a for Peter Robinson to go ahead without their support. So now talks have resumed with Sinn Féin. But earlier today, the British Secretary of State for Northern Ireland, Sean Woodward, uh, warned that in the House of Commons that efforts to reach a deal were now on the edge. Peter Robinson has to announce a deal within days if he wants to save his, his career, his government, and the peace process.